This is your boy DJ Consistence, cause consistence is key. Along with my homegirl Queen B on Damn. Queen B Radio. What's going on? Nothing much, baby. Look, why is it like? I mean, yeah. Shout out to Bone Thugs, cause you know Baltimore has a club mix. Oh, In addition to the club mix, it's always the song that everybody thinks about, whether you smoke or don't it, smoke, right? Put you in a good mood. <laughs> Is like, that what it's yes. supposed to be? Make you want to wake up, stretch out those arms, and just... Uh, make you want to be like Pharrell yeah. and be like, beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you already know what this is. Look, hey, we got a really live show. Uh, we got Bobby Mack. He's coming through. He's right around the corner. I definitely wanted to just kind of touch bases. Uh, you know, with today is December 1st. 1st. It's the first of the month, oh, obviously. Uh, you know, rent is due. <laughs> <laughs> the bills don't stop. Shout out to the millennials. <laughs> hey, they run on time. Oh hey. God. Yes, but you know, one thing that I definitely wanted to talk about, uh, you know, real briefly is today was World's AIDS Day or National AIDS Day. Yes. And, uh, you know, I did catch a couple of little things that was going on on the timeline. Um, you know, Rihanna was going ahead and she got caught with a video with Prince Harry. That's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Very crazy. I mean, shout out to the promoting positivity on getting tested. Yes. Yes. Um, one thing I want to say is I don't think there's enough emphasis. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, on HIV like it used to be. Because remember when, uh, you know, uh, Compton came out? Right. And, you know, Ice Cube and Easy had that whole little beef going on, and, you know, with mm -hmm. uh, their manager. And I'm, I don't know. He's like, you know, when Easy was like, I ain't no fag. You know, shout out, sorry, not to be rude. You know, when he made that commentary in the yeah. movie, um, you know, I think a lot of people in the black community have the misconception that, oh, just because, uh, right. you know, you may not be a homosexual or you may be a homosexual, that that's going to be the only way you can get it. And it's yeah. not. It so is. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. What's yeah, your thoughts? That's, that's the like that's the mindset back in that day. So you can't really knock them for it. Right. But I mean, as time goes, dodge grows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, I mean look, you sure hope so. <laughs> if you, anything. You, are, you are hope so, but I mean, but knowledge is everything. You know, like as long as you know what's in you, yeah. what's going on with your body, not, nobody can tell you nothing. I agree. Like, me and my one of my homegirls, we were having a conversation on Facebook, and, you know, she was just explaining. She's like, you know, there should never be accidents. There should never be moments where you should have those uh-ohs. And I, I definitely agreed. You know, I wasn't speaking to, you know, I'm the uh-oh girl. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I was just definitely speaking out to, you know, the the people that, you know, do make those mistakes, um, you know, as far as pregnancy, right. as far as getting STDs, and then as far as getting AIDS, uh, or, you know, or HIV. Right. It, it is a serious matter. People do definitely need to pay attention to it. So shout out to my boy Easy Street down there, 93, uh, point nine W. KYS, he was actually live today mm -hmm. um, doing uh, HIV testing. Mm. Yes. yes. So a couple people was rolling through. Um, I think that that's always a really good thing. Like, you know what I mean? Just to really get out there, just to promote um, the awareness of it. Because right. in the black community, there's a lot of a uh, lack of awareness in many different categories, as you know. Yeah. Well, there's also a lot of people that don't know that haven't been tested yet, but they're scared. That's true. That's true. Uh, the the severity of it is real. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's real. like... But it could also be like in, like hereditary. They don't even know it. Uh, so, you know, I, I think that that's interesting. Um, you know, especially when you talk about the black community, you talk about, you know, typical um, households that are broken. Mm -hmm. You talk about, um, you know, people that or fathers that or people that don't necessarily know who their father is. And I think that's a really good point just because in recent news, um, you know, shout out to Marilyn, uh, Juan Dixon actually just came out with a little bit of information of and speaking of you know him not knowing his biological father and forgiving him mm -hmm. um you know what's what's your thought on that especially within the black community and you know i grew up with my father as a female um but there's a lot of people like, that don't i mean in today's world like we have a lot of single single moms so I, like i was raised by my mom i know my father right i just don't bang with him like that i mean i know the dude but i mean he's cool <laughs> but he's not no cool. dude. A dude. <laughs> I mean, dude. Yes. I have no ill will against him. Right. But I just know of him. You know, I'm not speaking bad about him. It's just I it, get is, you. it is what it is. I, I mean, get you. I'm still a man that, you know, let my mom raise me to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm very respectful to women. And like my mom, you know, she she stepped up for that man part in a way. But there's also that part of the man part she can't understand. Uh, or uphold as uh, a uh, woman. Yeah, as a uh, as a woman. Yeah. I agree with that. And gender roles right now. Yeah. Are, are uh, kind of at an all time high. 
yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of controversy. Uh. I mean, when you when you talk about you know what type of roles the women should uphold in the household and what type of roles the men should uphold, especially in the black community or minority community, it, it's it goes a little bit untraditional. Uh, yeah. Would you say so? Yeah, I, I agree with that. But you just never know what you might get. You really don't. Look at you. You like. You, you just, you can't even foresee the, <laughs> the type of path that may come to you. And I agree with that. Um, even like you said, you're a Ravens fan. Even with Ray Lewis, when he did his documentary on the inter, uh, the interesting, I'll say, you know, relationship that him and his father had, because although his father wasn't necessarily a part of his life the entire time, um, you know, he wasn't completely absent either. And, you know, especially within the industry, you know, as far as entertainment or music, and you have those, you know, parents, like we saw with Keisha Cole and her mother, mm -hmm. you know, you have those parents that, you know, have... Um, other issues within themselves right. you know to address so I, I think it's definitely real serious um you know when it comes to maintaining and locking down mm -hmm. on really you know what you want to do in your life you know regardless of you know who you whom you may have come from <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you feel exactly. me you know what i mean but look uh, definitely want to give a big shout out to Rihanna for go ahead and push it forward on that uh, world's aid day uh, i think we have somebody special in the building real quick he over there chilling <laughs> uh, look we'll be right back because Rihanna needed me all right it's 8 30 p.m we'll be right back